Today is a good day because Black Ops 6 is going to be an amazing game. And here are the top reasons why you should be excited as well. Starting off with the movement. One of the most important skill gaps is going to get bigger. But don't worry about it being overcomplicated because if you are already a subscriber to this channel, then you already know where the best movement guides are. And if not, subscribe to get ahead of everyone when Black Ops 6 comes out. The first great feature is Omni Movement, which will allow you to sprint, dive, and slide in any direction. Think about how many times you had to turn your back on your enemy just because you were forced to reposition and take cover. Well now, you can keep shooting while you're taking cover. And although this sounds simple, this will change how the game works entirely, especially in Warzone. Sliding is still in the game, but we don't have any confirmation about slide cancelling. But based on the direction of how the game is going, I doubt they will remove it. Another interesting thing about sliding is that now it seems to be way lower than the crouch level we are used to. It is as low as going prone, so this will definitely be a movement meta. Diving is now upgraded in two ways. The first one is because of Omni movement, allowing you to apparently shoot and dive at the same time. The second upgrade is how you dive above cover. Now, would that take away from some of the movement mechanics that use dolphin dives with the cover? Only time will tell. And once you are prone, you can now use the supine prone animations, allowing you to do a full 360 turnaround, which gives the game a realistic feel that I totally appreciate. A second realistic feature we have now is corner slicing, which allows us to dive around a piece of cover, as shown before, and aim down your weapon with an angle as you turn around the corner. And apparently, you can shoot the handles of the door to open it which could be a great thing to counter campers the only feature that i personally do not like is the one that's called intelligent movement which is an option that you can turn on to automatically sprint mantle or crouch there are two reasons why i don't like this first of all it's a skill to know what buttons to press and when to use them so the fact that they can be done automatically for you kind of takes away from that mechanical skill gap. The second reason is this could be a problem more than a solution as you don't know when your operator is gonna crouch out of nowhere or mantle out of nowhere. Personally, I don't see myself using this option at all, but I like that they added it for people that might like it. Round based zombies is finally returning and that was what the community wanted the entire time. At launch, there are two round based maps, Liberty Falls set in West Virginia, and Terminus set in the Black Site area. As for multiplayer, first of all, your loadouts will be a primary, a secondary, and a dedicated melee weapon, a lethal, a tactical, a field upgrade, and three perks plus the perk speciality, depending on what are the perks that you're using. You can use five attachments per weapon and up to eight attachments with a wild card. Classic Prestige is finally returning. And then we have something called Prestige Master, which unlocks another thousand levels. And apparently there's a hidden gift that comes with it as well. You can now customize your HUD to your own preferred ways. Traditional score streaks are back and the RCXD is back as well, the classic three-lane map, and so much more. But two of my favorite things that are coming back is that the best play feature is finally coming back to the game, and we're gonna have the theater mode back, which means montages are back in the game. Overall, Call of Duty seems to be taking more of a skill-based direction and adding features that will reward somebody for having good skills in the game. Now, how much of that will transfer over to Warzone? That will remain unanswered until we see the COD next event and having our own hands-on experience when the integration finally happens. 